everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to talk about GrabCAD Print for SOLIDWORKS. This is a software add-in to SOLIDWORKS for the desktop version of GrabCAD Print. If this is the first time you've heard about this software, I recommend you check out my previous video. You can simply go to YouTube, type in GrabCAD Print, and it should be the first video on the list. You can also find this video on the Go Engineer YouTube channel. Now, the add-in for GrabCAD Print allows you to send parts to your printers without ever leaving SOLIDWORKS. So it's a very simple CAD to print process. And this makes it easy for anyone to print parts directly from SOLIDWORKS. Because this is an add-in, it's not going to be as robust as the desktop version. So there are some limitations. Unfortunately, we can't print assembly files. We can print a part that has multi-bodies, but not from an assembly file. That format isn't supported yet. Also, we can only set up one tray at a time. So if you have to process multiple files, you have to do that on separate sessions. And finally, you can only use the default interior fill style of your printer. For example, if your uPrint's default interior fill style is sparse, then that's the only one you can use when you're using the add-in. However, all of these things can be achieved through the desktop version. In fact, you can launch the software right from SOLIDWORKS with a click of a button. Currently, only Stratasys FTM printers are supported on the add-in. This includes the Dimension, Uprint, Fortis, and F123 series lineup. However, Stratasys and GrabCAD are working on adding more printers soon. So, how do you get GrabCAD Print for SOLIDWORKS? Well, you need to have the desktop version installed. If you never installed the software, you need to go to grabcad.com print, sign up for an account, and download the software. During the install, you want to make sure you check the box that says Include SOLIDWORKS Add-in. That way it installs both versions of the software. If you already have the desktop version installed, but you didn't check that box during install, no problem. All you need to do is go to your computer control panel, all control panel items, programs and features, find GrabCAD print, right click on it, click on uninstall slash change, click on add-ins, and install. And the next time you open up SOLIDWORKS, it'll automatically load GrabCAD print for SOLIDWORKS. As soon as SOLIDWORKS is open, you want to go to the GrabCAD print tab on the task pane and log into your account. And select your account, and you're ready to go. Let's go ahead and open a part. And you want to go to the GrabCAD print tab on your command manager. Now, if you don't see it, it might be that it's not enabled. So you can go to your options drop down, click on add ins, and just make sure that GrabCAD print for SOLIDWORKS is enabled. To process the part, you have to click on print preparation. and this is where all your options are. The first thing you want to do is select your printer. Now the printer must be on a network in order for the software to see it. So I'm going to select my uPrint SE Plus. It gives you a status and it automatically pre-selects the material and color that you have loaded on that printer. And you can also select the slice heights of that printer. This is where you select your solid bodies. I only have one for this part, so only one shows up. But if I had a multi-body part, all of the solid bodies would be listed here. If you uncheck automatic tray layout, you can orient the part and place it wherever you want. Clicking on a face will automatically select a base for printing. And you can rotate the part in Z. You can move the part in X and in Y. You can also scale this part if you need to. And finally, the Actions tab, which allows you to generate an estimate, send your part to the printer, open the desktop version of the software, or save this as a project. We're going to go ahead and generate an estimate. And as you can see here, we have our build time information and material usage. Now let's go ahead and send the part to the printer. and you get a message saying your part was submitted. The last thing you can do is launch the desktop software so you can see the schedule. 
and you can go ahead and hit OK to this message, that just means that the plugin and the software can't be run at the same time. And you can click on the schedule, and as you can see, my part is now queued on my Uprint. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching.